Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ellis and today I would like to talk to you about something that everybody has been talking about for quite a while now and people are tired. Uh, so many reasons on so many levels, uh, obviously bidding wars. If you have not been in a bidding war yourself, it is definitely tough on the agents. It is tough on the uh, buyers. It is even tough on the sellers, believe it or not, because the uh, anxiety, like you, they, they do not know what to expect. So it could be definitely linked to, to fear. It could be definitely linked to so many, so many reasons. And it's definitely hectic, right? Getting um, uh, one or two offers might be something that is easier handled than dealing with uh, 20 offers or 30 offers on the table. And I had those situations many, many times, especially because uh, offers and, 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 and these transactions are time sensitive. So everybody gets tired after a while, it's time sensitive, we have to obey uh, uh, obviously guidelines and all of that stuff. But there might be a solution uh, that um, I can see down the road and, and even you can find some of these things uh, online now. It, it is the open with double N app that would uh, satisfy uh, all three angles in, in this particular situation. It will satisfy buyers, it will satisfy sellers, and it will satisfy us uh, realtors in, in, in this industry. So you're asking how is this actually possible? So let's dig in further. So basically this is, this is the, the, the main page. Obviously this is a demo. Uh, it says Australia here, we are currently in Canada. But this is basically what, what it looks like. Uh, a realtor, a real estate agent uh, that is representing you on the sale would create your profile. You as the seller uh, client would log in and have your login. So moving on further, uh, uh, clients that the buyer, the buyer clients and the agents, uh, obviously the agents that are representing the, the, the buyer clients would um, start with the bidding process. Okay, so uh, a particular date and time is set for a multiple offer occasion and, and the particular time is set. So, so every single time uh, that there is a new offer that comes in, there's two minutes to either uh, improve on your price uh, and uh, the listing agent can uh, offset the increments of the of 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 the raise. So uh, me as a listing agent, I say, okay, on four hundred and twenty-five thousand, what it says here on, on my monitor, I can say I want increments of ten thousand, or five thousand, or fifty thousand, whatever that case might be. And buyer agents would be able to see that. So moving further, so there are two options. One option, me as a listing agent uh, and my client, we can say, okay, so. It will be an open, uh, open uh, bid. So everyone, uh, the buyer agent and his or her clients will be able to see the prices and they will get their tag, tag number and they will see where they are. So it's an open bid. You see the exact pricing, you see, you see all of that stuff. Or they can also, uh, um, me as a listing agent, I can say, no, uh, we are not comfortable disclosing pricing, but uh, we are comfortable uh, exposing their tag number, obviously no names involved and identities, but there will be numbers. Uh, and obviously you as a buying agent, you will uh, have your tag and the number and you will say, okay, so uh, 6277, which is our offer that we are submitting as a buyer agents, uh, we, are, we are number one at this point, right? So as it goes and as that uh, clock is ticking, we have two minutes to decide uh, what will happen, right? In that two minutes, we have to decide if we um, will increase, uh, remain the same. Uh, we can follow the chart, whether it's an open chart or, well, if it's an open, it, it is uh, obvious, I guess. But if it's not, at least we, we know uh, what kind of ranking we're in uh, and then uh, we can bid so we can continue uh, with the increments obviously whatever it's set up uh, by the by the by the listing so as, as you can see here improve 
uh, confirm offer and, and move on. So uh, the pause uh, can happen from the listing agent side. Um, many reasons. One of the reasons could be that uh, the listing agent requires a little bit more time than two minutes to adjust whatever the case is. Uh, I do not know if it's an uh, unlimited amount of time where a listing agent can pause this clock for, I don't know, an hour, four hours. Like, I, I don't think it's like, like I, I think that there's, there's, there's a time uh, delay maximum or something like that. I, I don't know that information, but, but they can pause it. They can continue with the clock. So when this basically clock expires and no, no parties are willing to go any further, then that offer, uh, these one or, or many offers will, will, will come to a, to a stage right here and the listing agent and obviously the seller can decide uh, on which offer they're willing to um, accept. So it doesn't always have to be the number one that is accepted because if the terms are, are not satisfied, uh, which is the traditional way of, of, of doing the transactions, even in, in today's day and always have been, right? Like different conditions, time of closing, uh, deposit structure. There's so, so, so many elements why, why an agent is, is very important to navigate that, that deal further. So uh, obviously the, um, the deal will be looked at, whoever is chosen. Uh, due to various reasons will be looked at, uh, will be assessed, and then the uh, actual paper will, paperwork will be uh, sent to, to, to clients. So I, I hope you like this uh, video. Uh, it's something definitely new. Uh, it's something that we have not seen. Uh, I understand that, that you out there as clients, are, it's, it's frustrating, the unknown. And it's sometimes it's hard to have that transparency between the listing agent. And I, I know that, that we have been good. My experience hasn't been bad. I've been trading real estate for more than 10 years. It hasn't been bad because that the buyers still have to register the offers and stuff like that. And we kind of know the count. We know the market value. We know the deal. We do the homework, at least I do with my clients, what the property is valued, where is a good deal, uh, what's our threshold, like what's the maximum, how can we navigate this deal? And there's a lot of phone calls in between the listing agent and the buying agent, just navigating that. So I believe that apps like this um, will create some form of transparency between the listing agent, the buying agent, and the clients in general. Uh, and it might be an actual good solution for everybody to, to kind of see the process and just have your bids on your basically phone and it might open even international uh, markets where people could you know start bidding I don't know on airplanes boats Europe we're doing it now but but it's kind of crunched because we still have to loop other softwares and other times but this will be all on one app so i hope you like this video and we'll see if this will come to fruition and this will actually be something that uh, we will start using in our industry thanks for watching